Hey guys, today I'm going to be installing a lock sound decoder in a Atherin Genesis GP9. This one's specifically a model for Rio Grande. And so here's the decoder, and I've already had this one programmed from the hobby shop I bought it from. Uh, programmed for the EMD 567 Prime Mover, which is the one that was in the Jeep 9s. So these are pretty easy install. You have to figure out where to, to mount the speaker, or if that speaker will fit in your engine. And if it doesn't, then you just have to use a different, uh, like a standard 8 ohm speaker to work fine. And then these come with a 8 pin NMRA plug, and so it makes it pretty easy to install them, as long as you don't have any special wiring uh, or lights or something that you want to include. Because then you just plug that into the socket, you have a ground wire, and then your two wires for your speakers. So you hook up your speaker, plug in your decoder, and you're pretty well good to go. So, let's see how this goes. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to replace the Atherin stock couplers that came with the GP9 with KD number 58 metal couplers. I use them on most of my engines, and I like how they operate better than the plastic couplers. The shell comes straight off, straight forward. And this one I have actually already put a DCC decoder on that I was using. So you see that inside the Jeep 9 comes with a 9 pin socket plus a 8 pin. But the 9 pin socket, there's really not much room in here for a decoder. You almost have to remove this weight here. You almost have to remove this weight here to put a, uh, a 9 pin decoder in. So, 8 pin works fine. And then this is where on the sound units, Athens has a speaker. And so, that's where I'll be putting my speaker. But you can see the, the one that comes with the lock sound decoder, that is not going to fit in this area. So I'll use a different Railmaster speaker for it. Move this uh, weight, and there's two screws here and here that you just have to unscrew, and then the weight will come off. Okay, so now the weight's been removed. Wires are out. And then underneath it is a plastic shield. And you can go ahead and keep this in place when you put the speaker in. Okay, so the speaker I'm going to end up using is this Railmaster uh, 8 ohm speaker DS1425-8. It's a small 8 ohm speaker, already comes with an enclosure, and since there's not a lot of space here, it fits pretty nicely in that spot. Actually, like that is how we do it. And on your decoder, went ahead and I stripped off a little section of the speaker wires, and then went ahead and put and I slid a little piece of shrimp crab tubing over the ends. Then after I solder the wires on, I'll slide those over to, uh, to cover the solder joint. Okay, so now our speaker is attached. You 
plug this in. And now it's ready for testing. Okay, that's not the exact configuration of where the decoder and everything's going to go once you put the shell on, but I wanted to test everything, make sure the sounds and stuff worked before I went ahead and put the shell on. Make sure it's on the rails. I'll hold it in place here so it won't take off. So it works, looks like it works good. And I'll go ahead and get the shell on, and then we'll give it a full test. One of the things I really like about the decoder is how the lights come up and down. They just don't turn off and are on. They actually go from full bright and then dim before they go off. So I just like how that looks. So this is running at notch one on the decoder with no changes to speed tables or anything else. Go up a couple more notches. So very smooth. You know, with the manual notching, I can run all the way up, and so you can hear the different uh, speed steps as it notches up. and then manually notch it down.
So it works pretty good. The sound portion of the decoder also has a few uh, little extra features that not all of them come with. And so that's a detector sound it comes with. It also comes with uh, crossing or crew communication. So I'm not sure how often you would use anything like that, but it's an additional little thing to uh, kind of play around with. So as a com comparison, I've got now uh, Rio Grande 5922 on the rails, uh, in addition to 5903. 5922 comes with a uh, factory-equipped uh, Athrum Tsunami uh, OEM board, just so you can hear the uh, differences a little bit. So this is just the sound of the lock sound decoder at idle. And then now that's just the tsunami at idle. So I'll bring them both back up. Very difference in the bell. Here's the lock sound bell. And the tsunami bell. And the lock sound horn. And I did modify that horn to be a M3, uh, which is correct for Rio Grande Jeep 9s. The uh, Tsunami OEM board does not actually have an M3 horn on it, so I had to use a, a different one that was close, but it's not actually the, uh, the correct horn. But that's the Tsunami horn versus the Lock Sound horn. Speed control is pretty good in both of them. They're both nice and smooth. But the lock sound decoder is really good. Easy installation, good performance, good sounds.